Welcome to the first community showcase. I wanted to start reaching out and expand the audience of CG figures, really pointing out some people who I think either are great at scientific visualization or are providing excellent resources for tutorials, either with a focus on Blender or more generally in other areas of science. In my experience, a lot of this actually lies in the realm of Cinema 4D or 3ds Max and primarily for medical animation. So it was a very nice treat to find someone who was actually using Blender and also using it for chemistry specific things. My background actually is in chemistry. And when I stumbled upon Edvin Faco, I believe that's how you pronounce his last name. It was really exciting. I reached out to him and said, can I please promote you on the channel and some other sources of social media? He said he would be happy to have that happen. And potentially we may do some sort of interview or discussion in the future, depending on how schedules work out. So Edvin has a bachelor's of science degree and a master's of science degree in physical chemistry, both from the University of Belgrade. He's currently pursuing a PhD at ICIQ, that is the Institute of Chemical Research of Catalonia, or the Institut Catala de Investigació Química, and he's doing that with Professor Nuria Lopez. Edvin has a broad range of publications, primarily dealing with heterogeneous catalysis, but also with a general focus on improving the efficiency of various catalytic processes. Now, I came across Edvin's work for the first time when I was actually looking for, just generally, Blender for Science tutorials, and actually, very specifically, how to make molecules and how to put them in, something that I have not addressed yet. So, actually, bringing up Edvin's work here on his page on YouTube, you can see he's got a relatively small number of videos promoting some of the actual work that he's done showing visualization of various different things primarily palladium for catalytic purposes but he also has a few tutorials of a slightly longer format dealing with how to import chemical models and how to actually render them in blender and these are reasonably up to date they're i believe all in version 2.8 or 2.8 onwards so one of the things that i really like is that Whereas a lot of my videos are a little bit shorter and dealing with specific topics, his latest video is actually a full walkthrough from start to finish of how you would create essentially a very, very high quality TOC in Blender. And this echoes a lot of the opinions that I have on Blender being fantastic software for scientific visualization and for scientists. The fact that this video is out here and readily available to a community to showcase each step and a product really opens the door to people having better figures for all of their papers, presentations, and all the things that I originally started CG Figures to push for. It is an enormous pleasure to present Edvin's work. I strongly encourage people to check out his Blender for Science Part 1 and Part 2 tutorials. Go check out his channel, subscribe to it. You can also follow him at Twitter. He's there at EFSSH. And again, I'd like to thank Edvin for the work that he's putting into broadening the scientific community in Blender. And I encourage people to go check that out. Let me know in the comments if you have anyone you'd like to see promoted or if there's someone you think makes contributions to Blender or scientific visualization that would be a good subject for a future community spotlight. So as always, thanks for coming out. Have yourselves a great old day.